Hey guys, and welcome to another episode. And in this one, I'm going to be showing you 10 things that you may not have known about Sky Factory. Now, this includes a variety of all the Sky Factory mods, so even if you're playing another mod pack, you may still learn something if that has that mod. Alright, so very first, in the very beginning, when you're like early stages, you need tons of dirt. Well, if you just have a wooden hammer and wooden shears, you can shear the leaves. Let me go into uh, survival mode really quick. So you can shear the leaves, you get your apples still, you can get some oak saplings, and you get your leaves. And then all you have to do is you can place them inside the barrel, and you can fill up all of your barrels with these oak leaves. Look, look at how much I did just in one tree. I can do tons of them. And then with your wooden hammer, if you don't need this wood, then all you have to do is you can just hammer the log and then you get these wood chippings and then all you have to do with the wood chippings is you can place them in here and um, compost that and get even more dirt. So this is the way how to get the fastest amount of dirt is to keep placing tons and tons of that. And there you go. Alright, so for the next one, um, this is one that you guys may know, but for the rain mufflers and the sound mufflers, these are pretty cheap, pretty kind of like really kind of early game-ish once you got like your main stuff going, your sieving going. Um, sound mufflers will help if you have one of the mob farms like these and you don't really like the sound of the mobs and if they're like really loud and you don't want to turn hostile mobs off in case you're like you're going to the nether or fighting the wither or whatever. And then for the rain muffler, if you can't turn rain off yet, you can put the rain muffler around your base so you won't hear the bad rain. Or what you can do is you can just go into the savanna or a desert biome and then you won't have to see or hear the rain. Alright, so for the next one we have carpenter barriers. And basically for these, here let me go back in creative mode, creative plus mode actually. Um, so for these basically you can make, there's multiple different types of uh, carpenter blocks get the barriers which is basically fences and you get like um, wedges and that kind of stuff so you can place it down like so and then if you have like leaves or whatever item that you want you can right click it and then it places the leaf down so uh, you, like it basically does that um, and they might be asking like why would I need this well you can also place it here and you can have like leaf uh, leaf fences if you want and then if you take a uh, glowstone dust now this will use a glowstone but since I'm in creative mode it won't and you right click on uh, the carpenter blocks shift right click you see the light level went up too it went from 12 to 14 um, that means that this is now producing light and if I F7 really quick uh, you can see that this is actually lit but then it also goes extra far on this side because this one's lighting up the, your base too so if you want a nice base kind of like this but you don't want mobs to spawn and you can't make a magnum torch that I'm going to show a little later then all you have to do is just place this down around your base and hide um, all of your stuff so that's sweet now in this next one I see a lot of people building which is like vanilla stuff and they um, like vanilla stone looks nice but you have all these nice variants of stone you even have a couple more I'll show you that really quick so you just click that you can throw your leaves in there if you want see all the different types of leaves you take it out it'll use a little durability but then uh, if you want some like Christmas lights or whatever on your leaves you can do that and then for stone there's all these different kinds cobblestone you can actually make cobblestone look nice so if you just made your cobblestone generator and you want your base to look um, pretty nice but you don't want to make it out of stone or something you can do that too all right so for the next one the reason why I, ha I have this all um, with no lights on it but over there you can see especially on the mini map I have tons of lights everywhere is this magnum torch now, if you look up this magnum torch really, really quick, and uh, you press recipes, you can see that the recipe's kind of difficult to make. Um, maybe like a mid-game-ish, or maybe a little early game. It doesn't take too many resources, but you, you do need the uh, QED. Um, and as you can see here, if you don't want ugly torches, then you have a spawning radius of 64 blocks. And it won't affect custom mob spawning, but... 
it will prevent like regular mobs to spawn like at night and stuff like that. So that's why this looks a lot nicer than my previous tutorials over there. You can look at them. Okay, so now for inside this item frame, we got a tape measure. Now this tape measure is sweet because all you have to do is you just right click and then it places it down. Then you can run wherever far, like if you want to like find the measurements of this, you t put this here and then you put it here and then bang, it tells you on the very left down here, the measurement east to west is five. You can also do like north to south, up and down. You just have to be worried about up and down because if you place it on this block like I sometimes do, then you have a couple blocks up, let's just say, and then you place this here, you'll notice it's four, when really you'd probably count one, two, three, four, five. So a quick fix to this is make sure it's on ground level, and then put this here, and then you'll see it's five. Okay, so our next thing is you can see inside it's all red. Um, and uh, I'll turn this off really quick so it gets all dark in here. Dark glass is something that you might want to make. As you can see, if you saw my other tutorials before this, I didn't have dark glass. I just had like wood planks and stuff there. Um, but I changed it to dark glass. Now this is the regular dark glass. And if you want to look at the recipe really quick, you make it with thickened glass, which is pretty easy to make. And then a blackout curtains, which is just basically made out of wool. And you get five of them. And then if you want to, uh, the recipe for this, you just make obsidian around it, and then you get reinforced. The reason why I like the reinforced is that, um, look at how smooth and how nice this looks. Now, if you, kind, if you like this kind of aesthetic, you can have that, but I really like it when you have glass that's all nice and smooth, and uh, you don't see any of that like weird kind of like pixelated stuff. Just like perfect, nice and see-through, so that's what I have over here. And no mo um, mobs can spawn on the inside, um, obviously, and you can see them too. So you can see if your mobs is working, like how fast your rates are going, and if they're like staying, getting stuck here or whatever. And uh, make sure that you have conveyor belts underneath it or some type of conveyor belt. That'll also help make them go a lot faster. Uh, and you can see that in my Gideon Minicio video if you want more details about that. Okay, so now after that, we have um, these wands. Now you probably have made at least one of these wands in the past, but I'm gonna show you um, some really cool things that you can do. All right, so for the stone wand recipe, so simple. You can actually place down five blocks horizontally. So when you're making your base out wider and stuff, you can place it out five blocks instead of just one at a time, especially for those slabs or whatever you're trying to do. This will help so much more. I highly, highly, highly suggest once you get a little bit of cobblestone, all you need is dirt, sieve dirt, you get cobblestone. Just use one of those cobblestone and you can easily get one of these. Quicken your pace, make it so much more, so much faster. Uh, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't really suggest the iron wand unless you're really low on diamonds and you absolutely need tons of diamonds. You could do that. Um, it only does nine horizontally, so it's not the best. But the stone one is definitely worth your cobblestone. You don't even have to get the automated cobblestone yet, cobblestone gen. Just get that. You can make your base nice and wide, and it'll take a lot less time. Now, for the diamond one, you can see the maximum is 1,561 blocks. That is way, way better. Uh, it does have durabilities on these, if you didn't know, but the diamond one is definitely worth it. Once I get some diamonds, I usually place them down. It gets me way faster on gravel and that kind of stuff. Now, for these ones, I, um, I, I don't know if you guys all do this, but for the Builder's Wand, uh, once you get that, you can only place nine at a time, nine stone. But if you have the Unbreakable one, which basically just takes the Builder's Wand and two sticks, look at the recipe real quick, it's a no-brainer to use. You can place 16 blocks. All you need is two sticks, there's just a two stick difference, and you get 16. Then if you have two of these, um, just clicking the use out of this, two of these, you can get one that does 32 blocks. So I don't know why that you would just use this, I've seen a couple of people use it. Why would you use this when you can easily upgrade? Alright, so now for the next one, um, this is basically for if you really are into like storing your XP and stuff like that. If you just look at the top, you can see how many millibuckets it can store, which is a ton. 
And then if you look inside, a nice GUI, you can store one level, 10, all your levels, and you can retrieve all, retrieve 10 or retrieve one. This is way, way better than tanks when you have to just right click and pick up one at a time. And you can't even hold that many mill buckets. With this one, especially when you automate your farm, way better, and this is actually relatively cheap. Here, let me show you really, really quick. Um, the recipe for this, Solorium, machine chassis, it's Lorium. So basically once you get into Ender IO kind of stuff, very, very easy. And then the experience, um, experience rod, super easy. You just need some more Solorium and an energetic alloy, which is all very easy to get as soon as you get into Ender IO. Pretty early and you can get all of this, especially for your mob farms later on. All right, so now lastly, the last tip is um, these are also all magnets. So let me show you each one. Now this item dislocator, you can shift, right click to turn it on. And I can't even, you can see me, I'm um, trying to press Q. I can't even get rid of this item. That's how fast this item dislocator is. I really like this the best out of all of them. Um, the only downside is if you want to go off and like check your item off the base, you actually can't. You can't throw it in the void because it just picks it right up. But that's, that's easily not a problem. You just uh, shift get it um, disactivated and you can throw up all your tools that you don't need. All right, so now, um, oh, real quickly, just to show you how easy this is. Um, basically, you just need a charm dislocation, some iron and some redstone, two blocks of redstone. Pretty easy to get earlier game. Then just draconium dust. Now you may say, oh my gosh, it's draconium. I can't do this. No, it's actually very easy if you look up um, my other tutorial, uh, it'll show you how to get endstone, and then there's just a way pattern how to get down hammer, um, endstone, and then you can sieve it, and then you make the block, you get like broken draconium ore, and then you just keep hammering um, that down, making make it into the blocks, hammer it down, making the blocks hammer down. You'll know what I mean if you've done it before. You can just look up some videos, or just look it up in the NEI. And then you just go all the way down you get you can easily get four draconium dust very very early so look it up my automating with stone barrels if you don't know how to do that getting um getting end stone okay so so that should be really easy to make then you have the ring of magnetization basically if you do batania at all this is pretty easy you just need um mana steel iron ingots gold ingots and then some more mana steel and glass it, mana steel is really easy to make too. If you don't know, you just throw an iron into your mana pool and then you get mana steel. And that is actually not that bad to get if you just have a decent, like it maybe takes maybe an hour if you kind of know what you're doing or just read the book a little bit. Um, generating mana, um, and then using the mana and all that kind of stuff, very, very easy. Now the last one is if you're into Ender IO kind of stuff, you probably would know this, but the electromagnet. And I have one up here because I can't show the recipe with this one. Uh, basically, conductive iron, uh, and then uh, electrical steel, which is, isn't that bad if you're into Ender IO. And then this is very, very easy. The vibrant alloy, if you're into Ender IO, it's pretty piece of cake. Um, so, yeah, I highly suggest um, the Batania if you're into that, or the item dislocator. And if you, because um, this one doesn't require any energy. Sadly, um, the electromagnet does require energy, so you need some way of charging that. So I highly suggest this one to get it first, um, or this one, one of these two. I'd highly suggest I've used both before, and they're very great. So as you can see, there are no mobs spawning because of this torch. And if you look really quick, my difficulty is on normal, and I'm not on a server, if you're questioning that either. So let me just turn it to daylight really quick. And I hope you guys have enjoyed my uh, top 10 like tips and tricks about uh, stuff that you didn't know about Sky Factory. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys want me to do something else kind of like this or another like 10 tricks or whatever um, or tips and you found this like really enjoyable, really informative, then just let me know down in the comments. Leave a like um, and that would be greatly appreciated. And uh, if not, I will see you in the next tutorial.